International Airport so we thought we'd take you on a travel day with us um, getting to the airport took about 10 minutes no about 30 minutes from Sanoa cost us $10 so it's pretty good um, and we've got a three-hour international wait time and between like getting onto our flight and then we're gonna land and catch the MRT to our transport so that'll be interesting so come along as we take you on this little tiny teeny tiny travel day on a shuttle bus to Terminal 2 or 3 to catch the MRT to get into the city. Uh, that was one of the easiest uh, immigration de declarations that we've ever been through. We actually had to wait for our bags. So, super great. Um, we filled out the declaration forms online and submitted them about three days before. And this was one of the quickest and easiest exits out of an airport we've ever been. So, go Singapore! So, at the MRT, it's tap in one end and then tap out at the other and then we'll get charged. We're just using like our WISE cards to do that. So this place was about, <laughs> Steph's just seen the awesome view from outside, um, this place was about $1,500 for five nights and that was like one of the kind of middle of the road so we spent, I think we spent $1,500 for a month in Bali so that's the difference in Singapore but um, so far super happy and when he's happy with a, bed, uh, with a room then we are happy so we will take you out, we'll settle down for a bit and we'll take you out and show you around. So we are just out, it is uh, half past five, super happy with where we're staying. Um, we are heading, yeah it's 32 degrees, and we are heading to uh, Hawker Centre that is about 300 metres from us. And are we going the wrong way? Directions. He says I suck at navigating. I think it's straight. Is that a way? <laughs> wrong way. The joys of... Uh, 
traveling. So what we've been using is Steph has been buying an eSIM which um, gives us data straight as soon as we land um, and without needing to go and buy an e uh, SIM card. So that's made life really easy for us. Pretty much everywhere though has Wi-Fi, which is great. Oh yeah. So we are finally in Singapore, um, temperature is about the same here as what it is in Bali actually. Um, actually, I think it's a little bit, I think it's a bit hotter here. Yeah? I was just going to say it's a bit like more breeze. More breeze? It's a bit cooler. Mm. Can we cut across here without being arrested? No? Um, so we've just actually had some dinner at the Hawk Centre where we're staying, which is actually quite nice, even though it's a small room but it's quite nice is just on the edge of Chinatown. I spin around you can see through the trees that is a, a temple of some sort. So um, so yeah I've never been to Singapore before. Amber's been here for work a few times yeah. uh, and uh, another lifetime when she was in the corp in, in the corporate world. So um, yeah look at the cameras. It's um, Big brother is watching. So yes, yeah, so that was like a, a four dollar chicken and rice dinner, um, and there's so many options in a in a, in a hawk center. Uh, options for Africa actually, so we'll probably go back there a few times because that was uh, that was worthwhile. I actually didn't eat all of mine, but um, I'm still getting over a tummy bug. So tummy bug. anyway, well yeah, let's not go there. But it's uh, 18 past 6 and the sun is still reasonably high in the sky. So um, sorry, I've got a bus reversing behind me here. But um, yeah, we'll see how we feel. We might uh, venture out. Maybe once we sort of figure out exactly where we are. And uh, go and see what some nightlife is about. I don't mean like dancing or anything. But uh, see what's lighting up in Singapore tonight. What did you not realise that? Hello and welcome to Singapore. We are in the Singapore Botanical Gardens today, which is a free thing that you can do here in Singapore. So we've got a couple of things on the agenda, but come with us and we will take you on a little adventure around Singapore over the next couple of days. Come on, let's go. The hell is that? It's a freaking dinosaur. Let's take a look down towards the turtle. Oh wow! That's my Shrek lives. So apparently there is a family of otters that live here and we were hopeful that we would see these otters but instead we got the Komodo like dragons. Uh, one gave me one heck of a fright and the other one I was just too scared to go anywhere near. So... The otters got eaten by the dinosaurs. The otters got eaten by the dinosaurs. So we had a little wander around the botanical gardens and they're very pretty if you wanted something free to do. Um, it's, uh, they're not that peaceful because you can hear the plane above me and the squealing of the like anti-bird or anti-monkey stuff but it is a nice little outing if you're in Singapore and want to keep your entertainment costs down. So if you 
So if you're planning on coming down to the botanical gardens, they have an MRT line that comes straight to it. So it was really easy. We just had to jump off the brown line onto the blue line and we got here no problems. The MRT is so easy to use. Um, it's like tap on, tap off. Um, and it makes life getting around Singapore so much cheaper. So we are just gonna head down to Marina Bay now, have a look around there and um, then maybe go and get some lunch. see the Marina Bay Sands just behind me. And there is the Singapore Flyer. The Chapeys. <laughs> so we jumped on the downtown line which is the blue line and we came out at this entrance to a mall and that is the most unassuming entrance to a mall that you'll ever come across. It is massive in there, so we had to find our way out of there. So we're just going to go and have a look through the Marina Bay Sands. had lunch and we went to like a burger joint because everything in the mall was super super busy. Uh, Steph had some guac and some chips, we had two drinks and I had some chicken wings with some fries and that cost 64 Singaporean dollars so it's quite expensive here in Singapore for food unless you're eating at the hawker centres. So we uh, just come to see these big triant trees behind us um, they're better when the uh, they do two nightly shows at like 8.45 and 7.45 so we might come down later this week and check it out but we thought since we're down this way at the Marina Bay Sands Mall we're gonna go and have a little wander around after lunch and it's about 32 degrees today so a bit of a breeze but it's still really hot <laughs> activity you can do in um, Singapore. If you wanted to go to the top of these trees uh, it is a fee. We're not going to go to the top. Um, we're just going to have a wander around the bottom and then we need to get out of this heat because Steph just told me it's actually 33 degrees at the moment so she's a bit warm. Oh here we go. You can actually see the walking platform from here. It's just up there. 